Okay, so I really wanted to share with you first of all that I have refreshed my altar. I took everything off. I changed the background. The black background is something that I use periodically and I really felt that that's what I wanted. And this for me is all about clarity. Clarity and boundaries and my connection with the five directions. So this is what I have on my altar and I just wanted to share this with you before we dive into the creative bit this morning. So I've, I have my little stones that, you know, that, that go on my altar. And this morning I just very mindfully went, right, what, what do I want? This for me is the direction of east, of air. And I've got breathe in there. I have got create in the south in my soul fire and let's just go around the directions and then I'll talk about the other things I've added to my altar I have trust trusting the wisdom of the West and the ancestors I have listen listen to what I receive from the North and tucked in here in the center by my candle is love love is at the center of my altar and of what I do that you know as I put place those words around my altar this morning I really felt that connection as I moved round now this little <laughs> this little seed head this um which is a little bit prickly wanted to come between air between my ideas and what I'm creating because sometimes you know the seeds that we plant can <laughs> can feel a little bit prickly it can feel uncomfortable but this is this this little seed head you know is from one of my favorite plants from the equinox so that wanted to go there i have a crystal here i want to crystallize what is coming from this from the creation into the wisdom of the west this for me Ah, oh, this represented, you know, the the ancientness, if that's a word. <laughs> um, and that crystal just wanted to go there. I have a beautiful stone, which every time I look at it, looks like I imagine what the what the world looks like. You know, we live we live on the edge. This is, you know, if. if when you see those um, images of the of planet Earth sliced across the middle, that's how I imagine this beautiful core. And here we are just living on the edge. And I have a nut, a hazelnut from my from one of my trees that wanted to go on there as I'm coming round into north and just listening this morning. My bee is always there. To remind me that I get I get to be I get to be in this process and there's a the little my little bee charm with the honeycomb pattern so that's what I chose for my altar today and you know this I will I will stay with this for for several weeks until I feel that I want that to move on or when when I am being moved on I'm just going to move that out of the way a little bit Okay, and let me share with you a, a slightly uncomfortable weekend. <laughs> um, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why my weekend was a little bit uncomfortable. And that was because I didn't protect my boundary. <laughs> you, you, you know, yeah, we all do it. And... Um, I'm just I'm just going to come down here because what what I what I realised as I was was writing this morning was here's the thing this by the way what I am doing here this is a hedge <laughs> oh let me breathe into this okay 
um, I'm going to just I'm just going to put some words on the page so that I can remain vaguely focused on what wants to come through today. And that is how are my now how are my how are my hedges now there is a joke here this is a very english joke <laughs> because in some areas of the country this letter h gets dropped so it, it became this is what i was giggling around <laughs> about this morning it's the how are my edges how are my edges how are my edges how are my hedges because what came to me as i was sitting looking at the garden was that the hedge in our garden has got these long spiky bits sticking up because um it is a hawthorn hedge and the hawthorn hedge has been growing rapidly throughout the summer and so there are these tall spiky bits sticking up and you know we talked about it over the weekend and went oh the hedge needs trimming you know and it's well it's not it, it it, it, it feels like a big job. <laughs> it feels like it takes a lot of energy. It feels like, you know, oh my goodness, the hedge needs trimming. Because it only gets done a couple of times a year. You know, that's that's all it needs. But it does need doing. Because here's the thing. This is what came to me as I was pondering my hedge this morning. Well, whose hedge is it? Whose hedge is it? And I want you to lean in to thinking about hedges and your energetic boundaries. Because that's what happened to me at the weekend. I didn't protect my energetic boundary. And you know what? I got burned. It was all a bit ouchy with a conversation because I didn't protect my energetic boundaries. Whose hedge is it? Who, and, and you know, let's let's just drop into, let's, let's make this, um, let's make this light because that's the way this process works. We keep it light because that's how we uncover the wisdom. So as I'm looking around my garden and I'm looking at the hedge, you know, because as you have boundaries around your house, around your property, some of the hedges belong to you. Some of the boundaries, you know, they've got a fence. Well, whose, whose fence is it? Whose hedge is it? Whose responsibility is it? Whose responsibility is it to trim the hedge, to care for the boundary? Whose responsibility is it to care for, to care for the, <laughs> to care for the edge, to care for the boundary, to maintain the boundary, to maintain that edge, to make sure it's healthy, you know, because if I don't, Let's imagine I completely ignored the hedge. Let's imagine I completely ignored it. And we went, oh, it's too much work. Too much work to um, to, to trim this hedge. I mean, what are we, you know, oh, my goodness. That's going to be way too much work. It's going to take up way too much energy. And so the hedge gets thicker and thicker. And taller and taller. and more straggly and unhealthy because that's what will happen if I don't look after my hedge 
if I don't look after my boundaries, then they become weak because that's what would happen to the plant. If I don't maintain it as a hedge, it would become weak and 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 sick. That that's you know that's the bottom the bottom line. What's the bottom line is my hedge will stop doing what I need my hedge to do. And actually what my hedge does, and I'm really, you know, this morning after a weekend of, <laughs> of <laughs> quite a lot of energetic work, is my hedge protects the birds that live in the hedge. All the little sparrows that nest in the hedge, that shelter there. You know, I need my hedge to be healthy. I need my edges, my, I need my edges, my hedges to be strong and healthy so that they can provide shelter for myself and those that do live in my hedge. Okay, so whose responsibility is it for the hedge? Mine. That was absolutely clear. And here's why. And I love this. I, I had them, um, we've been doing quite a bit of clearing out. And I came across, um, I came across this, this bit of paper. Um, it was from a, um, uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, we went on the I-360 a couple of years ago down in Brighton, which is beautiful. And it's a tall um, <laughs> viewing point. Let's go viewing point. And I went, oh, yeah, no, I'll have, I'll have those. Because this is what happens when we look after our edges our boundaries suddenly when i chop all of this extra growth down what is going to happen is i'm going to be able to see i'm going to have clarity i feel like there's another one there was there was two of these and that feels important too that when I chop down, when I trim my hedge, when I care for my hedge, I am going to be able to see clearly. That is what my altar is all about, is clarity. I was feeling foggy. I was feeling I didn't have a vision. I was feeling I couldn't see. And this is how my garden spoke to me this morning. Go and trim your hedge. <laughs> Go and trim your hedge. Go and attend to your boundaries. I feel this wants to be, you know, this, this wants to be, let's, 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 let's shake this up. Let's shake up. What can you see over the hedge? Let's let's change the view. Let's you know, let's let's rip up the old stories and create a new story, a new bound, a new vision. And I will be able to see that new vision because I have taken care of my hedge. I've taken care of my boundaries. This feels exciting. And so all of a sudden, my, you know, my boundary incursion <laughs> that I experienced on Saturday is, oh, OK, I'm learning. I'm learning here. I'm learning what it looks like to, to rip up the old story, to say, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to 
I'm not going to listen to the old stories. I'm going to rip them all up. Now I want to stick these down. I feel, you know, what what else wants to come in the hedge? And one of the beautiful things that I saw this morning as I was looking closely at my hedge, one of the beautiful things I saw were these beautiful, delicate spider's webs that were in amongst all of the, the growth of the hedge. And the spider's web, I'm just going to do a little symbolic spider's web down here in the corner. Perhaps it does want to expand. The spider's web for me is that creation, the weaving together of all of what is going on. of industry, of hard work, and I use the word hard, you know, loosely, because this, those spiders do work hard, you know, they've put a lot of effort into their, their webs that they've woven, and that symbol of the spider weaving, creating, so clever, so clever. And and almost a, it was almost hard to see. They were so, it felt so fragile. I I tried to take a photograph, but I realised that you can't. You know, it needed, uh, it needed sunlight. Sunlight's glinting off the, off the strands of the web or it needed a dark background. I couldn't see, I couldn't see the web. Well, I could see the web, but I couldn't take a photograph of it. And there's a message there as well. So that, my dear friends, is what I am going to be doing today. I am ripping up old stories and I am going to pay attention to my hedge. <laughs> so there's the invitation. How are, how are your hedges? How are your boundaries? Are you maintaining them? Are you looking after them? Are you strengthening your energetic boundaries so that you can go out into the world and fly? <laughs>